diode is a two-terminal device. One is P-terminal. Another one is N-terminal. That allows electric current in one direction and blocks electric current in another direction. P-type terminal and N-type terminal are formed by the silicon atoms. We will see how they are formed and how they are work. Silicon atom. Silicon atom atomic number is 14, which has 14 electrons in their shells. Four electrons are in valence shell. They are freely move around the valence shell. Every silicon valence shell atoms are bonded with the neighborhood silicon valence shell. There is no free electrons and holes. This type of bonding is called covalent bond. The ability of semiconductors to conduct electricity can be greatly improved by replacing or adding certain donor or accept our atoms. Antimony atom. An atomic number 51 and 5 electrons in their outer shell. Antimony atom doping with silicon atoms form a P-type semiconductor. One electron was in their outer shell that this freely moves. Boron atom. Atomic number is 5. It has 3 valence electrons in outer shell. Boron atom is doping with the silicon atoms form of N-type semiconductor. It has one hole in the router shell. It is freely moves. P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor are joined with each other and form a P-N junction. Forward direction. In forward direction current flow from positive to negative terminal. Reverses direction. In reverse direction no current flow due to the increasing of depletion region. In positive half cycle the current flow through the blue arrow path and in negative half cycle the current flow through the green arrow path. Negative of cycle the green arrow diodes are forward bias and remaining or reverse bias. In positive cycle the blue arrow diodes are forward bias remaining or reverse biased. Resistor output voltage is full wave. Capacitor. Capacitor stores the energy from the input and releases to the energy to output. By placing the capacitor we can smoothing the output voltage. Filter. Filter eliminate errors output voltage. It is produced the constant output voltage to devices.